there was a revolution taking place across the country, and just a few, a couple of years ago, uh, there weren't audiences like this to listen to what we had to say. Today, meetings like this are taking place by the hundreds across the country. And that's the beginning of a revolution, so I thank you for being here. To uh, lay the proper foundation for our discussion today on Agenda 21, let me begin with this quote by Ayn Rand, as she wrote in Atlas Shrub. She said, quote, When you see that trading is done not by consent, but by compulsion, when you see that in order to produce, you need to obtain permission from men who produce nothing, when you see money flowing to those who deal not in goods but in favors, when you see that men get richer by graft and coal than by work, and your laws don't protect you against them, but protect them against you. When you see corruption being rewarded and honesty becoming self-sacrifice, you may know that your society is doomed. And I do believe if this is allowed to continue to grow, that's exactly where we're headed. Well, the official word is out about me. According to several newspaper reports from around the country, I'm only here to spread wild conspiracy rumors to scare you into fear of your benevolent government. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> well, you all know that something is very wrong in America. Every day, government at all levels grow more out of control, more intrusive in our personal lives, more of a threat to private property, all in total and flagrant disregard of the expressed will of the elected. The fact is, Americans have grown to fear our own government. Life is getting harder. There is less optimism about the future. The once prominent phrase, American dream, seems to have just dropped out of our vocabulary. The reason? America is going through what Al Gore called a wrenching transformation of our society. But what kind of transformation? What has changed? Where is that transformation originally? How does it directly affect your daily life? Well, the old structure of what was once the United States of America is being replaced with a new political and economic order that is drastically changing the very underpinnings of our nation. It's being done quietly, behind the scenes, without debate, without votes, and with no official announcement. Yet this new ruling authority has become the official policy of the federal government and every state government, and is moving into nearly every city, town, and small borough and rural area of this country. The ruling authority is called sustainable development, and its blueprint for transforming human existence is fully outlined in a UN document called Agenda 21. Well, I've had 18 years of experience studying every aspect of sustainable development in Agenda 21, and I've learned that it is an absolute threat to everything free Americans hold dear. Here's what I know. Mean. There is a new language taking over our government. The typical city council meeting discusses comprehensive development, diversity, historic preservation, and partnerships between city and private businesses. Civic leaders organize community meetings run by facilitators as they outline a vision for the town enforced by consensus. Free trade, social justice, consensus, carbon footprints, partnerships, preservation, stakeholders, land use, environmental protection, development, diversity, visioning, open space, heritage, comprehensive planning, critical thinking, and community service are all part of this new language. What are they really talking about? Where was such language first developed? Well, the term sustainable development was born on the pages of a United Nations document called Our Common Future. The official report of the 1987 UN World Commission on Environment and Development. As a result of this report, for the first time, the use of environmental protection and human development were tied to the age-old socialist goals of international redistribution of wealth. And that 
is the key to understanding the true purpose of sustainable development and all its policies, control of all facets of the economy. Now here's how the United Nations described Agenda 21 in one of its own publications in 1993 in an article entitled, Agenda 21, the Earth Summit Strategy to Save the Planet. Quote, Agenda 21 proposes an array of actions which are intended to be implemented by every person on Earth. It calls for specific changes to the activities of all people. Effective execution of Agenda 21 will require a profound reorientation of all humans, unlike anything the world has ever experienced. End quote. 